All right, welcome, welcome, guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys had a good weekend. We are uh, going to move this season along, guys. We uh, you can see right there, taking on the Brewers next. We are twenty-one and eleven. <clears throat> First place in the National League Central, two and a half games over the Brewers, five and a half over the Pirates, six over the Co uh, Reds. Cubs are eight and a half back. Um, 12 and 2 at home and 9 and 9 on the road. So doing doing damage at home. Uh stat wise. Nolan Gorman, most hits on the team, hitting 315 with 9 and 24. Jordan Walker 303 with 6 and 26. Arnado's hitting 286. Edmonds down, his power's down, his average is down. Yeah, it's okay. Naylor's doing great. 11 home runs. Donovan 288. Mason Wynn 281. Contreras team has been hitting really really well even victor scott 387 with seven steals pitching wise outside of bybee who started uh he had a couple of really bad outings to start the season and painter who had a a bad outing uh i think his last one or two times <clears throat> russ staff's been doing great bybee and bueller are both five and oh chris cutliffe our rookie number five pitcher the lefty through a shutout. I think it was a three-hit shutout his Major League debut, so he's had a little bit of trouble in the sim, but when we use her with him, we will uh, do really well. Bullpen-wise, Mason Miller's been doing well. Sandlin and Yuki Matsui. Wish they would use Matsui over Thompson, though. Yeah, Romano's done great in the bullpen. <clears throat> I want to show you something here. Let's go to AAA. Tink Hentz. 3-1, 46 innings, 50 strikeouts, a 2 2.15 ERA and an 0.93 whip. He's allowed 29 hits and 14 walks in 46 innings. So he is ready to come up to the majors. He's We just have a spot for him right now. Um, unless we get an injury in this rotation, I don't want to waste him in the bullpen. Uh, he'll be in the rotation next year, even if we have to trade somebody away. So that is that. <clears throat> And, oh, I did make one minor trade off-camera. Uh, we sent catcher Richie McIntosh and a young pitcher named Josh Brantley. I think he was already 25 years old, though. Trade him to the Mariners. We got Junior Franco and Brian Hernandez. Um, Hernandez right here. 22 years old. He's a 64 overall with C potential. His clutch isn't that great. It's great hits and walks per nine. I just got him for organizational depth and catcher. Uh, we get a Junior Franco because we don't have any young catchers in the pipeline behind these guys. Uh, he's only a C potential. He's got power bat. His glove is, isn't as good as his bat, so he's got some work to do. I just want to get a young catcher in the system. It's kind of hard to find one in, in uh, the draft, so... Anyway, um, <clears throat> I believe what I said was we were going to play at the White Sox, at Oakland, so we can play in our old ballpark, and then home against Milwaukee. So this may this is going to be a month where we play three games and we don't do much player lock. So um, maybe we'll just do a Maybe we'll play a lot with Cutliff again and pitch here against the White Sox. And that'll let us throw in a, a couple of more uh, player lock hitters. So we've already lost the first game against Milwaukee, 6-5. to five. So let's see if we can win these last two games and win the series. So, and no, we're going to lose the series to Milwaukee as we get pounded. 10-8. Naylor, Arenado with two, and Newt Barr with home runs. Bueller pitched okay, but Miller didn't, and Romano blew the save. Three in the bottom of the ninth to lose it. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go look at the scouting real quick. So we're looking at this catcher, Anthony Crosby. Nothing special. Just want to get somebody on the board. Uh, we're at week five. So we're discovering in the Central now. This is the last week we're going to look at pitchers uh, international. 
we have scouted this guy, Nathaniel King, Kang, I'm sorry, Kang, uh, hoping he can last until our pick at 28. We get two in the top 31. So we may get hopefully a hitter and a pitcher. We may even go for a closer if, if uh, there's a really good one still sitting there because we need to get a little younger there as well. <clears throat> Other guys we've scouted that are hitters. And then we scouted this guy. He's overrated. No. So, mostly been uh, looking at pitchers. Do you have one closer here? Mick Wolf. Pretty good. Really good numbers. Doesn't throw real hard, a lot of off-speed, but uh, great hits per nine, home runs per nine. He's a possibility. Francesco Minoso would be another possibility. Three-pitch pitcher. So there are, are a lot of closer options if we want to go that route with our second pick, which is good. I'm, I'm in the mood to uh, go get someone to help us out. Even uh, Dan Fiorentino wouldn't be too bad as a lefty reliever. 98 mile an hour fastball. 98 mile an hour sinker. Not bad. Wouldn't be mad. Wouldn't be upset with him either. We may have to look at him later when we go to scout. Um, probably not getting Salas. Crespo depends on how he scouts out. Moranville's nothing special. Yeah, these are all project pitchers. Nobody outstanding. This guy's uh, probably going to be a low B. High 60s. Not bad. 23 years old. So, organizational guy. Anyway, that's what we've got so far. We're going to let uh, Crosby... We're going to scout him another week or so. So, anyway... Let's see what Painter can do. Hopefully he can get better than Sim here. He's uh, had a couple of rough games here, so let's see. And there we go. 3-1. to one. Naylor, two home runs. Gives him 13 on the season. Maybe 14. Painter, one run in five innings. Bullpen did their job. So, salvaged one of the three. So, only dropped one game in the standings. So, now they're two and a half games back. And that'll get us to Cutliff. So we're going to start Cutliff against the uh, White Sox. And then uh, we'll play a full game at Oakland and a full game against Milwaukee. And the rest are just going to be Sim. Um, we'll uh, go down and take a look at the minor leagues and see what the stats are as the month progresses. We've only done just 10 Kents, so we'll go from there. Let me save where I'm at right here. Mr. Cutliff. Harrison Bader's not even, he's not even playing center field. He's DH in. All right. The number three guy, Peter Vigna, got drafted in the same draft as Cutliff. I would have taken him if he had lasted to us, but the pitcher we wanted went four. The hitter we wanted went five. Um, we picked seven, so. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch. Okay, All right, no score in the first. Let me adjust the audio. This one belted deep left field on its way. Start for the White Sox. All right. No <clears throat> Schultz. What do you look for here? All right, Mr. Cutliff, let's see if we can improve on that three-hit shutout that we threw in your first start. You need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to... It's funny as I haven't played. This is the first game of MLB I've played all day. I've been playing XCOM 2 on my computer all week, all day. There we go. I'll take that pop up. Let's go. Wind drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. 
And there's one down. Dominic Fletcher digs in now. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately, working on an eight-game hitting streak. Now one miss. Fletcher measures five feet, six inches, 29 years old, and he won a gold glove in 2025. One out, base is empty. And that Ooh. one's a little bit low, and it's two and one. That's it for a strike. All right. Computer says fastball down and in. All right, I'd rather go slider, but we're going to go with the computer. Foul ball, another two now we're going slider. The lefty fires. Sharp and through the hole. Shit. All right. Well, what can I say? First one away. Fastball for a strike. Yeah. And another ball. In the Get there. There we go. All right, two down. Looking for a, a double play, but missed my spot and elevated that pitch. Luis Robert now. If you guys didn't hear me say uh, last stream, the uh, April episode, we're going to move our streams to uh, this time of night, which will give me, oh, come on, he went, it'll give me more opportunity to stream, and uh, I'm more awake at night than I am first thing in the morning anyway. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. Gets a piece and stays alive. Mm -hmm. that that. Damn it. One hops off the wall. Well, we're not throwing a shot out this time. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3 2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. Now a blooper back behind short. He's got it. All right. Well, hopefully that's the only run we allow. And we come back. Contreras with a two-run homer gives us the lead. All right, curveball can't throw that shit up there like that. They'll get out of the park. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown, and mm. don't give that other team any hope. Come on. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Fouled off. He was late. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. There we go. Slider got him for strike three. Brandon Lewis steps to the plate for the White Sox. Fought off foul. Hung that. Lucky that didn't go out of the ballpark. That should have been hit a long way. <laughs> got away with one there. Can't complain. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but mm. he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he took. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner around second. The throw to third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. Edgar Carroll steps to the plate for the White Sox. There's a strike. There's a ball. There we go. That's what we needed. Strike out or pop up. Calls it in two away. Well, that's the first.
frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. Bader in the box now. Takes strike one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Wouldn't chase that time. See Cole Boy streaming. Go get that. There we go. Pitch out of that jam. There we go. Grabs it on the run. White Sox strand a couple. They're down. Back here on the south side. Bottom of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Dominic Fletcher. Foul ball there. Pitch misses. And it's a ball to strike. You know, these White Sox did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing that two seamers didn't give me trouble the whole game. I've been able to locate that pitch very well. That might be the best news yet for this offense. The next offering misses. Three and one now. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm. Slider's been good, though. That might be the case today. Payoff pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Change up. Right back to him on the mound. Nice easy throw. There we go. We've been throwing way too many pitches, though. We're already at 51 pitches in the third inning. It's got to get these guys to get out on the first pitch. Through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get. I just said game. that, John. It would help if they would swing. Swing at a ball lifted to Go up here and take five pitches. Edmund makes the grab, and there's two gone. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And now it's Luis Robert swinging a foul straight back. Up and in, and one and one. Home team down a run. You're in the last half of the third. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Come on, let's go. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Freaking dogs are jumping off the bed upstairs. <clears throat> there we go. We can chase. Down on strikes, and it's a three up, three down in it. Down in order go the White Sox. And they trail it here, two to one. Back at guaranteed rate field. And All right. Arenado with a solo homer makes it three to one. Swing and a miss, strike one. Moncada, 31 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Check swing, went around, and that's strike two. And the pitch. Oof. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. There we go. Stand there and take that pitch. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird at bat right there. Didn't hit the final pitch, and he still got the backwards hit. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him, and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, but. Let's throw this big fat curveball here. Only two now. Left Get in there. There we go. Makes a nice running catch. So up next, Brandon Lewis. Check swing. There we go. Nice swing. That's strike one. The cards leading by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. 
swing and a miss struck him out. Guy was impatient. He was diving out after that one pitch, making chase that bad pitch. All right, three to one. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Jacob Gonzalez. The pitch. Up in my spot. Let's throw that again. You know, these White Sox just lacking discipline at the plate. This That's game. better. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep that's working great center field. and expanding that strike. Plenty of room. On, and they just keep eating right Down. Some quick at bats in the last inning or so. Still get 75 pitches with this one in the fifth. That's a little too many pitches. He got hurt? Wow. Well. I'm not going to pitch with him. And luckily, the bullpen gave up that home run. I didn't even get through five, so I can't qualify for the win. Fly out. Walk. Walk. Pitching change. Double play. Matsui comes in, gets a fly out. There we go. Mason one with an RBI. Three run homer by Arnado, his second of the game. Puts the game out of reach. Base is loaded. Sandlin coming in. Four run lead. Gives up a home run. One run out. Romano comes in, one on, two out. There we go. All right, well, we'll have to see how bad Cutliff got hurt. I was just talking at the beginning of the uh, stream that if anybody gets hurt in rotation, we'll bring up Tink Hens. So we will see. Arnado, two home runs, Contreras one, he pitched four and a third, four hits, no walks, one run, four strikeouts, and left with an injury. Okay, so how bad is he hurt? Please don't be more than a day or two. I really don't want him to be out. We need him to win Rookie of the Year. A day or two. All right. We'll just keep him active. <clears throat> All right. Good. Romber, see what you can do. And Cutliff is back, so. Rebounds back. Nolan Gorman, home run. Jordan Walker, two home runs. Romber pitches great. Cano finishes it off, 13-2 win. And Tanner Bybee going for his sixth win. And does not get it because we went extra innings. Wilson Contreras with a home run. He didn't pitch great. Bullpen did well. Zach really did well. Three innings, no runs. Okay. So now we're 25 and two, three and a half game lead over the Brewers. We are second in the majors in batting average. Third in runs. Third in hits. Not a lot of doubles. 23rd. Not a lot of speed in this team. Triples. We're going to be 22nd. Home runs were second, though. RBIs were third. Steals were sixth. Tenth and walks. First with the fewest strikeouts. Third in slugging. 
fourth and on base, third and total bases. Last in double plays. We've hit into 31 double plays. Errors are tied for eighth. ERA were ninth. Complete games were third. Do we have any shutouts yet? Yep. Two, Bybee and Cutliffe. Saves. Tenth, blown saves. Twelfth. Sixth and hits allowed. Seventh and runs. Sixth and earned runs. Second fewest home runs allowed. Fifteenth and walks. Eleventh and strikeouts. So, not bad. Team's not doing bad. Gorman, 10 and 28. Arenado, 8 and 23. Naylor, 14 and 29. Walker, 8 and 30. Frombers four and three, five and zero, oh, five and zero, oh, three and two, three and three. So, not bad, not bad. Let me see if we can get Matsui. <laughs> Pirates called somebody up. All right, let's save. All right, Walker going to six and zero. Oh. What can he do? Oh, we lose four to one. Abbott pitched well. Ringifo with a home run. Bueller pitched well, but took the loss. All right, Ashcraft. He's a righty, right? Let's jump in and uh, player lock this one. Ashcraft is right-handed, so let's jump in with Nolan Gorin. Let's go. Happy David Cruz got his 40th stolen base the other night. Welcome into Bush Stadium in downtown St. Louis. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. And we got a little bit of a rain Reds game here. All right, we'll be back to give Guys, we have two weeks until college football comes out. Two weeks. Two weeks from tomorrow. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. All right. Reds are up 2 nothing. bottom of one. Got a man on second and two out. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over ten coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can miss it. Especially when he needs it most. We'll see how. And there's the third out. That'll do it. Here's Nolan Gorman. All right. Now it's four to nothing. De La Cruz with a home run. There. These red versus red is uh, really annoying. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. That's going to be a gapper. Off the wall. Give me enough to get him home. Nope, it's too slow. I had to hold up. Naylor's just not fast enough. It's all right. Second and third, and nobody out. Come on, Jaywalk. Rerun run blast right here. Let's go. God, I can't take that pitch. Come on, Nolan. There's a shot in the right, and we're going to go. Two runs single. Cut that lead in half. There we go. Nolan doesn't want... He wants us to re-sign him. Doesn't want to go away. He is not regressing. Now we're losing 5-2. to two. Pitching is just up and down, man. No consistency. Get through. There we go. Second hit for Gorman. Come on, Walker. Do something. Don't take strike three. 
On to first, inning over. Nolan Gorman. And Newt Barr. Oh, Mead. Curtis Mead with a grand slam, so now we're down. That one Ten to four. Fair shot. Going back on this one. And caught on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty uh, fun as an okay. outfielder. Got to put it into his highest yeah. ten four. Give up ten runs, not gonna win too many games. Taylor Cruz, five for six with three runs. Solo homer, Meade, Grand Slam is only hit of the game. And Ellie has his 10th steal. Newt Barr homered. Painter did not pitch great. Zach Thompson pitched worse. Jeez. All right. We've got to fix that. Let me flip him and Matsui. All right, we're just going to straight sim this game with Cutliff, and we lose 7-5. to five. We Lost three in a row. Four home runs. Wasn't Cutliff's fault. Seven innings, two runs, nine strikeouts. We take him out of the game, and Sandlin got beat up, and Thompson got beat up. My God. All right. Well, Anthony Gibson rebounded. My goodness. He went uh, saying he's the uh, 17th best player as a catcher. That would be nice. Definitely can hit a little bit of pop. Good defense. Can't run worth a lick, but he's a catcher. All right. This got to go central. And yeah. All right. 28. Yeah, let's take a look at Stephen Kwan. All right, so week six, got about two more weeks of scouting central prospects, and then we'll shift over to hitters. All right. Um, I am not looking to make any trades. We can look at our trade. We have $40 million that we can play with. But I, I, there's really nothing on our team. I like the staff. We got Tink down in the minors ready to come up. For the most part, our bullpen's great. Catching's fine. First base is fine. Second base is great. Arnado's doing it. Wynn's doing it. Good outfield. So I, I don't see us making any trades barring major injury um, at the deadline. So we'll just have to see how the next two months go. But man, let's see if we can not get swept at home by the Reds. Hey, we salvaged one. Spencer Steer, two more home runs. 14 inning game. Victor Scott, two more hits. Nola Gorman, five ribs. Everybody but Arenado had a hit. Gorman with two home runs. Romber pitched well. Ro Jojo, eh. But then the rest of the rest of the bullpen did their job, so. Okay. Carol leads. I want to see. Nolan Gorman. He's nine hits behind Carol. Carol's just crushing it. He's already got 20 doubles. Naylor and Gorman lead the National League in home runs, so we may have at least one, if not two, guys in the home run derby. And Gorman's only three RBI behind Otani, and he's seventh in runs. All right, let's let's. Uh, right now, he's the leading MVP candidate. He's outplaying Otani. Gotta love that. It's Jazz Chisholm for the A's in the American League. Look at that. And Otani would be Cy Young. McClanahan, I'd love to have McClanahan. Sabato. Hey, look at Victor Scott. <laughs> or Elvis Martinez. That's the dude we traded away. 
We traded him away. He comes up and he might win American League Rookie of the Year. Oh, it's good for him. He was going to waste away. I traded for him, but then Arenado didn't regress. So, all right, Justin Steele. Let's player lock on this with a right handed. Mm -mm. Let's go, Tommy. Try and get Tommy's back going. He's only hitting 221. Not good. Pete Crow, man, if you want to get an outfielder for the Rockies to patrol their center field, trade what you have to trade to get Pete Crow because the dude is 99 speed, 99 defense. He's all over that outfield. All right, Tanner. Hey, all right, no score, bottom of one, so we didn't give up early run. Drop, 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 drop. Jammed myself. All right, one nothing lead in the third, leading off. We got three hits, so maybe it was not a home run. Ooh. High and deep, but I don't think it's deep enough. Nope, edge of the warning track. Got under that one too much. Still one nothing in the fifth. Two outs. Come on, Gapper. Yeah, I swung over it. I moved the PCI up. Way over it. Here we go. Get down. Wow. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go here. That'd have been at least a triple if he doesn't make that catch. All right, two to one with two on and two out. That's going to drop. Nope. I could beat Crow, but I tell you. Covers everything, but we get the win anyway, even though I did nothing. All right. Tanner Bybee, seven innings, one run, five hits, six strikeouts. Steele pitches well and takes a loss. Ivy 6 and 0. Does it show the array? Yeah. And it's down to 5. It was 12 at one point. All right. Lose to the Reds, come back and beat up on the Chubs. So we're just kicking Chicago's butt this how uh let's, let's see Walker and Taj and we lose two to one. Bradley pitched well. Bueller pitched well. Cano gave up one in the eighth. That was a difference. All right. Painter and Wicks. Come on, Painter. Three home runs allowed. All right. Only a game and a half up on the Brewers because we're struggling right now. Giving up too many home runs. We will have a, a a full game against the Brewers at the end of the stream. So we're gonna play. Let's play this game with Fromber against Shane Bieber. Not gonna play Cutliff. We tried that earlier and he got hurt, but only missed a day. So we're going to play this game, but uh, what does Argetti throw? It's right-handed. All right, we're going to play lock. And let's do Donovan. 
Yeah, Verdugo and left. Gritchick at DH. Ricky Johnson was a first round pick last year, I believe. Their second baseman. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with Looks us. like we're going to miss that uh, really good pitcher that we didn't get to draft. Here's my updated right field stands. This is my park that we played in last year with the uh, Oakland A's franchise. Made a few adjustments. And that's a shot in the gap, and he caught it. I don't want to look at the replay. I just want to show you. We uh, adjusted the left field, pushed the wall back so it was straight. We gave it a little weird angle here in the left field corner. And uh, moved the uh, open area in front of the pool and then closed the rest of that off. Added those new uh, Space Age stands that they introduced. Put a new... Uh, marble inner uh facing um out there and then i put these gates over here and move the uh, statue back so that's what we did to the stadium i like that can keep a good tempo all right donnie we're losing six to nothing they can move through a ball game and you look off they're in line for quality start we'll see what he's got in this one sizes this one up nabs it and there's one down i miss playing in this park Swing at the first pitch every time. Three straight flyouts. I'm anxious. I want, I want to uh, ball. All right, Nolan Gorman with a solo homer. I've seen four pitches. It's the first one I didn't make contact. And there's another flyout. Center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the Walker with a two-run homer. Mm. Two thirds of an inning. My God. Well. I'm eating Twizzlers. Um, if he struggles, we can send him down and call up Tink Kent instead. It's always an option. Going to miss Boyle? No, he's going to pitch Sunday. All right, let's get in and play this full game. <laughs> That. Look at that. Nice and colorful. See if we can have a little bit better game. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague baseball. On... Okay, all set to go. And set to the Cardinals. Tommy Edmund. And that one a little below the knees. And that's how this game gets started. Hang and a miss as he was late that time. Get down, get down, get down.
There we go. Warren Burner gets through. All right, Josh, your turn, buddy. Wind is blowing in. Blowing in stiffly. We're going to have to crush a ball to get it out of here. I'll take that. Come on, down and get the third. It's too shallow down the line here to uh, get a double unless you're really fast. <clears throat> All right, Nolan. See if you can hit the scoreboard. I've done it with you before in this park. Come on, be patient. Fucking pitches over your head. Swinging when it was here, it ended up down there. I love those one pitch outs. Alright, uneventful bottom of the inning. New inning getting started. Now Wasted a big opportunity in the top half. Oh, that's drive. Gone! Into the wind. Wind's not blowing in so hard. That's all the way up there by the concession stand. Ooh, Lars with a shot down the line. Curving foul. Eight feet. Here we 
we go. Let's see if we can steal our way to second base. Yeah. Nope, we got 54. I was expecting that ball to be an off speed and drop, and uh, it stayed up. Looking for the hump, and it stayed up. <clears throat> Come on. He's out. Let's try to see how the double play ran into a double play. Got to get rid of that red sleeve. Can't be red, red sleeve with green and yellow. Looks like mustard and ketchup and pickle relish. <laughs> Carved him up. God, he missed that. That was right down the pipe. CPU defense is just ridiculous. Damn me. Oh, let's go, let's go. Here we go. At least that was a slow-ass catcher running. 
So the Oakland lineup turns over. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. There's the strike of the knees. In the air, out towards left center. Go. Uneventful third. Get some runs, boys. Mm. Riding in on me. This pitch. Good job to fight that one. Right hander kicks deals. Yeah, I got under center. Ruiz makes the grab one down. <coughs> Irving foul. Home run distance. 25 feet foul. Yeah. Alright, Nolan. Went deep last time. Can do it again? today. Alright. Shit, he almost threw that away. Bad decision to run. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You can go sit down. Why are you swinging at that pitch? It's not even the same zip code. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Thank you, Jimmy. Chance to win rookie of the year this year, but it's probably going to lose out to a pitcher. Not in this league, but in real life, dude is phenomenal. Batting leadoff as a as a rookie and playing ridiculous defense. Fuck. 
Tommy Edmond at the plate. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. One. one run across in the frame so far. We're at the top of the fifth. Get through. There we go. Now we can try and steal. <laughs> Look at that sky. I had to hold up. It was too shallow. That was more in the gap out of gun. Ruiz doesn't have a strong arm, but that was shallow. Now we can get Naylor up there with his clutch kicked in. Oh. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go. Drive it. Nice change up. I don't need a home run. Put it in the gap. Jammed him. Is that going to drop? Nope. Nope. Good pitch. At least we got a home run. <coughs> How you doing tonight, Jimmy? We only have one game this week. Head to head users for NWO. George and I got our computer games done. Hey, I am not feeling sick anymore. I just got a lingering cough that won't go away, but feeling better. I finished off my regular season. Figure out who I'm going to play in the bowl game. And, that one fouled off. and we're all Biden time for two weeks from tomorrow, right? <laughs> I will be live that day. Game comes goes live when it's supposed to. That game goes live at three o'clock central. I'll be I'll be on. Um, I'll be on. Right after it goes live. I want to make sure it goes live first. There we go. Swing at that shit. Not too many fly balls, huh? Getting strikeouts and ground outs. Gotta love that. Alright, let's get some more runs here. Oh, chopped it. It's right down the middle of the plate. Belt high. All right. Let's be a little more patient with Jordan. Don't want that. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. The one-one. Oh, a little bit inside. Little jam shot. You can tell I haven't played all day. I've been shooting aliens all day instead of playing baseball. I also downloaded the uh, Cowboy Shoot 'em Up Monster Game for uh, PlayStation the Evil West, I think is the name of it. I played a little bit of it. It's going to be out, even though that's deep in the hole. <clears throat> it's too slow.
Not even close. Not even close. Ah, that should have been hit a long way. Pitcher can't feel that. Goddamn CPU pitcher feels that shit every time. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they pull some action with good wheels on it. Here goes the runner. And foul ball. With the tying run at the plate, here are the bottom of the six. One ball. Two Not three. close with that one. And the count is one and two. Here's Alex Verdugo. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. God damn, that's twice I've hit him. All because I hit fucking Verdugo. And Lars goes deep again. <laughs> Adios, Pelota! Another home. It's the end of the game. And they jump in front in the seventh. It's 3 2. One pitch, one swing. I didn't even see where that went because I was looking at the keyboard. That's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Show it again. Where'd that land? Is that upper tank? Yeah, he hit, over the hit it here sign, he hit it up by the scoreboard. Just miss hitting the scoreboard. <laughs> oh boy. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with three passes this year. Well, up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. You know, these cards, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've lost six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Two one. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Number 91 up and loosening in the pen. Jameson also getting ready. Oh, and Mason win! <laughs> His seventh home run of the season, and they add a run. It's four two. Oh, yeah! Back to back. And they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. 
back-to-back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team. He knew it was gone right away. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. All right, Contreras, can we hit three in a row? Wilson Contreras. One way outside. We have hit three in a row on camera before. Rookie season, 27 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick in 2020. Nope. Late. That's all right. It's the first out. All right, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. I still love this stadium. Ah, tried to go out there and hook that. And he beans him. All right, that's fine. Come on, Brendan. Safe. There we go. Three and zero. Not swinging. All right, Josh. Your turn. Oh, topped it. He was right-handed batter. It's a double play. <clears throat> All right, Nolan. Jesus, fucking swing at the ball. Almost hit you. Up, FG. How you doing, my man? Welcome in. Get down, get down. There we go. RBI. Trying to finish season four before Hurricane finished the season three. Peter Montero. I've never heard of this guy. It's got to be a CPU guy. All right, Jaywalk. Your turn. You're over. Ah, oh, don't chase. The big race, yeah. I got to win my first World Series before he does. I can't let him do, do that. Beat me. Ooh, that might be out of here. Back to the track, to the wall. Gone. I know. I haven't seen any content. You've been busy, though, man. You've been moving. You, you've been moving. Getting your shit set up. Yeah. You've been, you've been locked in with Madden stuff. You're, uh your other leagues so if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient and i took some time off and was uh focusing just on uh nwo stuff to uh get this last season over before the new game comes out <clears throat> hey i'm uh i'm uh i've been working on my i've been working on my uh Resume and LinkedIn profile and all that good stuff. So this week we're going to start going out and applying for real jobs. Bottom of 
bottom of the seventh. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Randall Gritchick. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a ball. Yeah. Well, you get in a rut sometimes where other stuff comes up. Oh, come on, give me that pitch. And then you get in the mood where I don't want to do it. Here's a high chopper. Contreras gets it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. So I know how that does. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. My problem is my wife has been home 24-7. So that cuts into the daytime streams. So that's why we're doing the nighttime streams. She'll be in bed, and then we'll be playing games. Get there, Arno. Playing games, and I don't have to worry about it. <coughs> hey. I was playing XCOM 2 all day today since I got up. I did some other stuff too, but. About nine o'clock is like, yeah, I should stream. <laughs> Especially since Kane put out a video today. It's all right, I gotta stay ahead of him. Good throw, Nolan. Let's go. There we go. Man, there's been so many ground outs in this game. I will say if Newt hits three. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch, man. He's going to want that one back, no doubt. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. Right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Ball hangs in the air way too long. Way too long. We only had 77 pitches in the eighth inning. <clears throat> This is the zone, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Hey, looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right here. Yeah, 16,000 words and 80 pages. <laughs> I think Framber's gonna 
come out after eight innings. We get through this inning. There we go. Finally get this guy out. Beamed him twice. All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, bring in Natsui. Come on. Swing at strikes. Not shit around your ankles. My eyes are not locked in on the pitching today. They're not picking up the ball out of their hands. Oh, he got all of that one. <laughs> Home run number five on the season, and they add to the lead. It's 9 2. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Right down the middle of the plate, it's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive. On the pitch now for Oakland, number 91. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but mm. he's got to find Try to golf that one. These batters count the same for his stats, <laughs> obviously. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Hey, FG, I noticed the uh, 50 million bots, Twitch bots, are not in my chat anymore. They show up as uh, viewers. No, they show up in the list, but they don't show up as viewers. There's at least six to eight of them every single stream. And they haven't been here in the last two or three. That piece of that good pitch. <clears throat> All right, let's look inside. Belt high inside. Fight that off. Always having a tough time getting the pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Here we go. That's a rocket in the center field. <coughs> All right, Nolan. Try to take that to left field. Actually, as a lefty, lefty against lefty, I want it up and in. Uh oh, that's going to be deep. Back to the track, to the wall, caught. And I forgot how many outs there are, so he's going to get doubled up. That's okay. Donovan went deep, though. Right, where are we sitting at? 91 pitches. Let's try to get the shit, this complete. He gives up a base runner, I'll take him out. He's not going to get a shutout. But complete game would be good. See if we can paint this on the corner. Next pitch is downstairs. Got him. How many is that? Six. Here's the second baseman, Ricky Johnson. That one outside. Okay, that's ball one. This guy was our first round pick last year, I think. He was here too. Battling here 
as he fouls it away. Just about to hit right the there. century mark, a hundred pitches for this game. On its way to the corner. And a foul ball. Oh, got that one. Didn't get it inside enough. All right, he's done. sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game so we'll see how sharp he is your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well the Cardinals up big in this one we're in the last half of the ninth inning all one there really good take especially with two strikes on the ground right side toss the nailer now only one out remaining. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. Strike one. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. The A's with a lot of ground to make up here in the second game of the series. Got him. All right. And that's a winner! That's a winner! That's just caught on fire, and it seemed like nobody could make it out. Put a lot of runs up, and that propelled them to the win. 9-3, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. Our final line for tonight. First for the victorious... One, two, three, four, five, six home runs. There we go. It's not what I wanted. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left four runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 31 minutes. <clears throat> All right, let's check our scouts. We are 10 games over 500. <clears throat> All right, Stephen Kwan. Looks like he's going to be a high C in the high 60s, so nothing special. Week 7. So we're going to scout one more week. We're going to discover one more week with pitchers in the central. And maybe two. Let's change him. We're at 28 and 31. Yeah, let's check out Givens. He's right field. So Buster Kelly is the number one pitcher in the class. Wow, this dude is good. He is good. Then we got a closer, reliever, closer, second base. No chance to get him. Starting pitcher, he'll probably go before. Center fielder. Oh, <laughs> FG, this is the guy we drafted last year that it wouldn't let us sign. And it... Uh, like, he disappeared when they went to go sign him. So it put him back in the draft like he didn't sign with us. So whoever drafts him, we're going to have to change his name. That's our guy that we drafted last year. Wish I could have this. Anyway. And this guy looks like he could be... No, he won't be generational because he's 20, but be nice to have this guy. Look at that. He won't fall to us. No way he'll fall to us. So we're going to look. And even this guy won't get there. <clears throat> that guy is a closer. 
Catcher won't make it. Eh, I doubt the first baseman will make it. We could scout him later. Uh, I think he's going to be overrated. Same with him. Him. He's all glove and no bat. Look at pictures. I got all right. Where are we at? We have a game and a half lead over the Brewers, five over the Reds, six and a half over the Pirates. Cubs are out of it. So, game and a half lead. Dodgers are 30 and 16. Marlins are 28 and 16. Braves are 29 and 18. Rangers are 32 and 16. All right. Bybee against Lee Boyle. That's the dude we wanted in the first draft, and he went two picks before us. And we lose 4 to 3. Foreman and win with home runs. Cano blew it. And Boyle, not too bad. <clears throat> Lost 2 out of 3 to Oakland, 2 out of 3 to the Cubs, 3 out of 4 to the Reds. Man. Struggles, struggle, struggle. All right, come on, Walker. Let's let's bat this game. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with Ringifa. I turned off the uh, defense in player lock because we we're playing outfield. All it's doing is it wasn't giving us any fly balls to get. It was just. <clears throat> If you have us field line drive base hits. Most <laughs> pointless. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Oh. Right side. Olivares moving under it. And that'll do it. <coughs> Back here in Philadelphia and towing the slab, it's Walker Bueller. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the Turner. Oh, he dropped it. Bad throw. Come on, Wilson. 0-2 with two outs. Struck him out. See, in real life, the Cardinals would not be wearing their red jerseys, their, their red hats and red undersleeves. They'd be wearing their navy blue against the red teams. They wear navy blue. The swing and blue teams that wear red. Everybody else that wear red. Disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the God batter. Damn. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. One out, base is empty. Next pitch is outside. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. And another ball. And down on strikes. And there's two away. He had him out in front, which... And now it's the switch hitting second base. At least Donovan got us two runs on an RBI. And Gifa does not hit as well left handed as he does right handed. So. Whatever. <clears throat> that was a waste of a, a waste of a game lock. Their lock. Got the win. Harper hits a solo homer, but we get the win. Walker Bueller, 6 and 1, guys.
All right, painter against Urquidy. Let's play a lock one more time. Let's go with Josh Naylor. <laughs> we have Alejandro Kirk catching and replacing JT Real Muto. Notice that. Here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, we've got a perfect night for baseball. Here's Josh Naylor, fourth on the National League home run leaderboard. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Urquidy, 31 years old, and he was selected for the All-Star game last year. Here we go. Base hit. And that's a base hit. They fired that man in scoring position for Gorman. Come on, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. <laughs> Reno. Going to walk him to get to uh, Walker. Yep. Bases are loaded. Come on, Jaywalk. Don't strike out. Here we go. We're going to hold it up. <laughs> He's out. Damn. Just lit sooner. All right. Still got bases loaded, two outs. And now we're losing two to one. Try to drag that to left. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, didn't get it. Look, it says good contact. I just fisted that ball down the right field line. <clears throat> All right, two on, nobody out. Clutch kicks in. Be patient. Drive this fucking ball. Oh, son of a bitch. It is way harder to play lock than it is to play a whole game. <clears throat> you know, get... You know, get to get into a rhythm with their pitching. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you drop. There we go. That's an RBI. <laughs> and there's still nobody out. Three no. They're gonna walk Gorman again. Second time. You've reached and you ended up bases loaded. Come on, Jaywalk. 0 and 1 count. No strikeouts. Deep to right. Back to the track, to the wall. Cut. Sack fly. There we go. Get a ribby for him. See if we can get another one here. It's not a steal situation. What are you talking about? Why would I steal home? And why would he try to steal second? No, it's not a steal situation. Swing the bat, Nolan. That this, he stood and took three pitches because it said steal situation. The guy in first, I'm not trying to steal home with a power hitter up. The fuck? Yeah, it works as intended. So what am I going to change that guy's name to? I don't know. I don't know. I might leave his last name, Cologne, and just change his first name and make it like, you know, his brother, his cousin, whatever. <clears throat> One down. Next to hit, Josh Naylor. And that's outside. Ball one. Ah. 
Bounce to the right. Stay on top of it. Alright, don't blow this game. <sighs> I just said, don't blow the game. To get underway, now up for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. Garcia, back to work. Checks, <clears throat> no appeal. This one drilled. Guess I have to do it all by myself. Second deck. <laughs> Game over, man. It's game over. I hope so. Man, Boog, 150 trips around the bases. That's a lot. Congrats to him. That's his 150th career home run. All right. I hit Trout's 500th when I was doing the, uh, my Angels franchise last week. He came up. I was I player locked on him. He had 498, and I hit two home runs in that game. <clears throat> Second deck over the scoreboard. <clears throat> All right. And they had a bases loaded walked. Get another one. All right, let's go. Josh was three for six with a home run and two ribs. Jordan had four hits. Victor Scott and Evan with steals. Painter pitched well. Romano did not. <coughs> All right. Can we get the sweep? Chris Cutliff, Tariq Skubal. No, lost six to one. Our rookie got beat up again as the ERA is pushing five. <clears throat> All right. Half, we're a half game behind the Brewers. All right. Here's our hitting. We have no problem with hitting other than Tommy Edmond. Cutliff. 57 hits, 26 walks. Not getting up home runs, which is good. And if we go down to triple A, Tink Hintz is 6-1 with 73 strikeouts and 67 innings, a 175 ERA and an 088. 38 hits. All right. I think we need to flip those two guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're going to do. There it is. Tin Kent's. It's going to make his major league debut. We're going to play this full game. We're going to do Tink's uh, MLB debut. <laughs> All right. This is not how I saw this season going, but we got to get Cutliff going. And can't have hints down there with like 30 less hits and innings pitched, just tearing up AAA and can't use them. So we'll let Cutliff go back down. <clears throat> and... Uh, Get his game straightened out. All right. 
I'll cut that out and stick it behind him. We're going to change the, uh, I was going to have Newt on the, uh, we're going to change it to Tink. <clears throat> it's a home game too. Awesome. All right. Romber against McClanahan. Um, <laughs> Let's do Contreras. Arnato does not have good contact against lefties. Still has good power, but not good contact. From inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay, two of the best teams in the game square off. So just about this guy's a stud. Now, and our pitcher tonight. All right, Rangifo, RBI single, get two on and two out. Great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off oh, the hook. Oh, just missed that. Situations and get his team back in the dugout. He's got it. Needs four home runs for 200. Get a run on three hits, no errors. Base All right, it's three to two, Cardinals. And now the Cardinals catch Gorman with a home run. First pitch misses. There's a strike. Ah. One ball, one strike. The wind of the pitch. That's ah, the get on top of that. Oh, right Zips it across, and Contreras is retired. Back now in Tampa Bay. Tommy knocked him out in the sixth inning. New pitcher. The pitch. That's outside. No, that's outside. And it's one and over. There we go. That's a rope. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate. Steal. Steal. I have 17 steal with 44 speed. Absolutely smoked that ball. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Inside, just missed. I am not stealing. That one finds the zone. No, I gotta go because he's gonna just stand there and take it. Oh, he jumped the gun for second. The second and south. Go ahead, run on base. And tie game. Man on third. But it curls foul. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first. And prevent that run from scoring. Swing and a miss. Oh, two. For the runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. And that's outside. And it's one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the curve is down and in. With the go-ahead run at third, and we're at the top of the eighth. To oh, my. <laughs> I hit a rocket. Fucking piss missile, and there you go. I mean, sometimes it gives, and sometimes it here at Tropicana Field, here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. First off, oh, and it just misses. He delivers outside. Yeah, reached. The ball lifted left field. Brings it in, one up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front. We're still tied in the 14th. Wilson Contreras. Here comes a pitch. Just oh, missed. Oh. Swings 
Anderson misses. And now it's even one, one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Dude, he throws a sinker that backs up. The one, two. And one gone. Well, that slider down. All right, Ringifo with a solo homer. We're in the 16th inning. Right into the plate. On the ground to the left. Whips it across. And Contreras is retired. All right. Won the marathon. Arnado 0 for 6. Oh, if you're going to play that long, you get the win, right? All right, Bybee and Rasmussen. And we get a 6-4 to four win this time. Jordan Walker with a home run. Bybee pitched okay. Bullpen did their job, though. 32-20, and 20, back to a game-and-a-half lead, which means the Brewers had to have lost two in a row. <clears throat> All right, scouting. Week 8. Yeah, we're going to leave this one more week on the pitchers. This guy's not great, but I'm going to go ahead and scout him. All right. For the sweep. And to win six out of eight. There it is. Edmund and Gorman with homers. Bueller. Didn't get the win, pitched well. Gorman's hitting 322 with 17 and 45. <laughs> Mason's dropping, Tommy's going up. Treos is dropping, Newt Bar's up. <clears throat> Let's see. Shohei jumped over me. Has to be because of his pitching. <clears throat> We're going to have to just crush it with Gorman to get an MVP. <clears throat> All right. Painter and Ashby. Come on, Painter. What time are we at? Right at two hours. All right. We're going to play a full game here, so... We'll just straight sim it. And we win a slugfist. Eight to seven. No home runs. Painter did not pitch great. Thompson did not pitch great. But the rest of the bullpen did. We'll take it. Gives us a two and a half game lead. And we're going to save and then do the Major League debut of Tink Hints. Clear skies. Arnado's a bit tired, so let's put JC in. Nice walker hitting way down here.
All right, here we go. Don't like that we have three left-handed bats in a row against a left-handed starting pitcher, but I like the way those guys are at the top of the order, so. There's my seats the NL other day. Central. All right. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shum. Singy, one of the stories in this one is a highly anticipated Major League debut, and all eyes will be on him as he gets the start of the mound. I love watching pitching debuts at this level because there's no waiting around to see the rookie in action. You get thrown right into the deep end of the major league pool. He's center stage from the first inning on. So, like you said, Boo, there's no hiding at all. There's a ton of excitement about this kid's future, and he's about to face the best lineup of his life. So I'm excited to see how he attacks it. Ready to go now. Down the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. Swing and attack for the rolls foul. Right-hander deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Whoa, Next offering is downstairs. Hence, a big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound at this ball club. At this point, it doesn't matter if you're a first-rounder or an undrafted free agent. Got him. Strike out on his first batter. Got to love it. set for himself and the expectations others have for him he doesn't want to just win games he wants to dominate at this level do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up and try to rack up k's oh, early in their career Boog, i think they can it's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power the thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence and so for a guy even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further here's yelich at the dish that one's in there, 0 and 1. Ooh, help me out. Good eye right there. Rudder takes off. Adam Swaggy. Ah, bad throw. Second, and that was not close. Willie Adamas stands in. This guy always gives me trouble. He's got such a fluid motion to, to pitch with. It's crazy smooth. Foul ball there. And the righty deals. In the center. Edmund in position. He makes the cut. And that's the third out. Brewer strand one. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. You're watching me. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Oh, Pitches is. outside, ball one. Edmond, in his ninth season, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. High fly ball out into left center field. Corrals it, one away. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. And it's fouled away. One out, base is empty. Oh. Outside low, one and one. One out. Just right. missed. The oh. wide to kick the pitch. And he grounds yeah. one to the right side. A little too early. Throws the first in time. Two outs, bases empty. Now a chance for Josh Naylor. And 
first offering is fouled off. Oh, ran in on me. Two outs. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Top of the second, up now for Milwaukee, Nelson Velasquez. That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike one. Fastball for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Kicks and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. One down. Next for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. And hey. that's through there for a strike. Owen one. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man. Don't know why Donovan's playing right field. Land a foul ball. Second inning here, no score. And now one and two. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Jump throw go. on the money. Nice play. <coughs> Gorman was playing second net balls into the outfield. First pitch misses for ball one. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Bottom of the second. Here's the Cardinal DH. Nolan Gorman. Got the MVP chance going on in the crowd. There's a rope. Thank you. <clears throat> well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. At the play, Luis Rangipo. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Yeah, he's got 99 contacts against lefties. Ah, he jammed me and I swung at it. That's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfield? Come on, Jordan. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Now the batter now, Jordan Walker. Swinging a foul straight back. The short could be two. Off balance feet. There's one. And that's two. Back here at Bush Stadium. Top half of the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Joey Weimer. And a foul ball left side. Right through there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one's carrying. Going gone. In the Big Mac land. He sends a rocket to left. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they grab the lead. It's one nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Christian Vasquez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swinging a foul over the screen and back. Out of play. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. In plenty of time to first, and one away in the top of the third. 
Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Monasterio in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And that's in the dirt. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. Ooh, come on. Ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That one finds the corner. And the count is 3-1. And, and it's strike two. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. In the air, right field. Walker gets under it. Makes the grab. Two down. South Raven. Up down for the Brewers. That's in there for strike one. That one is upstairs. Bounced up the middle. Throws the first in time. Wearing out the second baseman. <clears throat> that pitch was supposed to be up and in, and it was over the middle. All right. Let's get that run back. Fair ball. And it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he's in the second with nobody out. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Lifted in the air, right field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second. Thomas Sajazi next up for the Cardinals. Two for four in the game last night. There we go. That's a double. That's my first at bat with Sajazi in the major leagues. It's <clears throat> our replacement for Arenado. He even looks like him. Try to check my swing. Didn't matter. It's a strike either way. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back. To the there we go. Send him. All right, take the lead. Let's go. Let's go. Off first with one away. <laughs> he almost took his head off. They get it in quickly. So first and second down, one out. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Josh Naylor. Rips one to right. Velasquez settles under it and makes the catch. <coughs> It's too much of a line. Come on, Nolan. Ah, way out in front of that pitch. Foul off left side. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. You're in the last half of the third. In the dirt, blocked. No movement on the bases. One and two to count. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
That's all right. We got two. Got the lead. Everything came together for him. The timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Swung on, belted. Walker on the move, heading back. Didn't quite have enough. Next for the Brewers, Nelson Velasquez. Slider misses outside. Velasquez measures six feet even, 190 pounds. <laughs> that shit was three feet inside, and he swung at it. I'll take that. That was a gift. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up now for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. Fastball in for a strike, and it's Owen Wong. Oh, one's the count. Lifted in the air. Jeff Donnie. There we go. He's through four. This is Tink Hens' uh, MLB debut. Cutliff started well. He's had a rough few starts, so we sent him back down to the minors to uh, get his shit straightened out. And uh, Hence, Hence was just killing it. And I'll show you. <clears throat> He was uh, six and one with a 175 ERA, 73 strikeouts, 67 innings pitched, and only he had less than 40 hits allowed. So he had no reason to be down in double triple A anymore. So <clears throat> So that's why Hens is pitching and Cutliff's back down in triple A trying to get his uh, game straightened out. Oh, yeah, remember that changeup. Next one misses, and it's a ball to strike. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher working well. We cannot hit his changeup. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Comes another changeup. Stayed back, drove that to right, get on base. That's how we do it. <clears throat> Come on, Mason. Double just inside third base bag last time up. Scored on a sack fly, tie the game. See if he can do something bigger than like that. That's exactly what I was talking about. single and a triple for the cycle bam he crushes lefties in this game all right come on Contreras and we're just gonna hit parade all day long doesn't have the speed to get two on that I think it's by the outfielder it's a double we had no hits and now we have seven <laughs> that was a rope all right Come on, so Jay-Z. Yeah, an RBI double last time. When, first time I've added with him in the majors. Reached. It's going to be a double play. It's all right. Two more runs. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 4-1 ball game. 
Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Brewers DH, Joey Ortiz. And oh, that misses out. off the outside edge. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back hey. in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. Next nope. pitch inside. inside. Two balls and a strike. This ball's chopped to the ground. Win. Fires across the diamond. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Weimer batting for the second time, and that's strike one. CGM, hey, we're doing good. We're in first place. Had a bit of a up and down month here. And Tink Hentz is making his MLB debut right here. Getting over my cold, so how are you doing? I, uh... Moved all of my streams to 9 o'clock Central Time at night. So we'll be doing as many day streams. Although when college football comes out in two weeks, I will be streaming that day. Just finished the game? MLB, I assume? I was playing XCOM 2 all day today until decided it was time to go stream. And Tommy's going to drop that in. That's going to be a double for sure. Lost to the Giants. Made some big trades. Ah. Nats are one of those teams, they, they need pitching badly. And you have to be so patient for their hitters to develop, their young guys. Traded from Manoa. He's, he's usually pretty cheap to get. You need to, uh, you, you have to boost Cruz and James Wood because they never produce what they do in real life, even in the minor leagues. All right, Donnie, let's go. Ah, got in on my hands. <clears throat> and now it's Josh Naylor. Hey. Squirts away a little bit. Nice oh. by the plate. But Paredes, yeah, he's he's got Camonero behind him, so either you gotta trade for Paredes or they'll trade Camonero one or the other. Camonero's Camonero's going to play third base because they have Carson Williams in the minors at shortstop. He's out. Can't believe threw him out. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That one missed. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. He's just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. And we're just two games in, so. Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Swing. <laughs> Way out in front of that changeup. Let's see if he likes his high up and in fastball. Come on, Donnie. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. There we go. And there's two down. And now it's Christian Yelich. And ball one. There we go. He's through six, only allowed one run, and that was on that home run that I didn't get that pitch high enough and left it over the middle of the plate. We uh, we sent Chris Cutliffe, who had a three-hit shutout for his Major League debut, 
and then he's had a little bit of trouble in the uh, sim. We actually did a player lock earlier in the in this stream, and he went uh, four and a third innings, only gave up one run, and then he got hurt and had to leave the game. He wasn't hurt more than a day, but the uh, sim has not been kind to him. So he, we pitch well when we use her, but he needs to sim better. So we're hoping hence will sim better. <laughs> ah, way over that curveball. Ah, a little under that. All right, Jordan. He got a base hit his last time. It almost took his head off. Scored on uh, Mason Wynn's two-run homer. Wynn needs a single and a triple to hit for the cycle. hit this into the gap I'm gonna shoot try for three gotta make contact first slider misses outside three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters gotta stay focused on the pitch two outs fouls it back with two strikes All right, where's Hints at? Well, 68 pitches. Okay. Right through that hole. How much you can do about that? Just a little slow getting that ball to second base. And next is the designated hitter, Joey Ortiz. And there's the strike. Now one to one. The pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Well, I guarantee you, after that last visit from the pitching coach, all they did was remind his pitcher Ooh. to focus on this hitter and nothing else. 
Dying run is deflated. Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. Foul ball still one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, my earbud just passed out. Change up. Got it. All right. His night is over. Oh, he got all of that one. Is that going to be deep enough? It's pretty high. And it is gone. A towering shot to center. It's his sixth. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. It's 5 1. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He's right away. Went down and golfed the shit out of that one. Look where this was. That was down and away. Ah, Jamie. Good pitch. <clears throat> All right, Donnie, let's go. We're going to bring in Newt Bar to play right field. <clears throat> Mm, good change up. We have been swinging over change ups all damn night. This is a towering fly ball, and it's just going to be short. It's the second time he's hit the ball in that exact same spot. He feeds himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day. Pretty much forget about it. Left hand batter waits. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you're somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, 
something bad happens because outside <coughs> of that, Steph is just too hard to fail. So digging in, Willie Adamas. That misses, and that is ball one. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying. Oh, come on, give me that call. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. And another ball. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. All right. Is that Brewers? Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Taylor Clark. He's pitching on two days rest. Digging in. Nolan Gorman. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. Foreman's battling Otani for the National League MVP, so we got to keep keep pushing, pushing. <clears throat> Come on. We'll take the walk, that's fine. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now it's going to be Luis Rangifo. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to pinch hit with Arenado, and then we'll just move to Jay Z to second base. <laughs> and Gifo's really he's really uh, there to hit lefties yeah, tardy see the pitch center field a dive and he can't haul it in around third he will score and the lead is up to five puts a run on the board and picks it up. <laughs> anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way it feels so good and that's when you know you're right where you need to be in the plate and it's even better when it gets you extra bases love looking in at your dugout and seeing the guys fired up and now Jordan Walker that one fouled off one on, nobody out, a run in near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fly ball to right. Nabs it, and there's one down. Let's go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. He's already homered in this game. Towards first. Miller gets like how that pitcher got a little boost that last two strides. <laughs> Wilson Contreras, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. That one drilled left field. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. In comes the runner from third. <clears throat> now a six-run lead. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now, Thomas Sajazi. And first offering is fouled off. Two runs across in the inning here in the second game of the series. Slider missed. <laughs> back going too soon. It's strike two. two Tell me something up, dude. And a pitch. Just missed the 
inside corner, and the count is two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounce to the left side. They take the force out, out with room to spare, and that. Now into the ball game on defense. Lars Newball. He takes over. Number 21. Lars Newball. I'm going to go with Matsui. Even though he's left-handed, I never get to uh, pitch with him. So we're going to use him. <clears throat> Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Newball racing over to make the catch. Very really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Miller stands in now and watches strike one. The Brewers with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul at the belt and finals. In the air, left field. Donovan makes the grab on the run. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So now the one. And a foul ball. One strike away. The pitch. Stays alive. Only two now. Got him. And that's a winner. That's a winner. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And a 7 1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton, Tink. His motion is so smooth. That's the one bad pitch we made all game. I <laughs> was supposed to be up and in, and it was over the middle. And then Mason Wynn said, kiss my ass. All right. That's our last full game, but we still have games to go for the rest of the month. <clears throat> so we can get some more player locks. Finish out this month. Cutliff in his first game, back down, triple A, eight innings, eight hits, two walks, five strikeouts, one run allowed. Gets the dub. It's what we were looking for. It's what we were looking for. All right, Valdez against Sonny Gray. Sonny left the Cardinals and goes to the Brewers. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is we're going to play through the 30th, not the 31st. I'll leave that Braves whole Braves series for the next one. So we'll just finish the 30th of uh, May. So we got five games left here. Mm -hmm. it's against Milwaukee let's uh, player lock <clears throat> let's do Nolan <laughs> they got Contreras down and it's cold but he had uh Two hits, including a home run last game. Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Home of the... <clears throat> About to get started here. And today's starter, Fromber Valdez. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here. What the fuck? <laughs> it's six to three in the bottom of the first. 
Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. Not in time. He's safe. Walker stands at third with one gone in the inning. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. That goddamn pitch. That one missed by a strike. Oh, that's that slurp right there. Extremely well. He talked about hasn't thrown a single pitch in the strike zone yet. To get that barrel to. Not even close there. And the count is even two and two. Chop to the right side. That'll get us a fourth run. At number two and another run comes in. It's seven to four. Base hit, left center field. Make it uh -oh. throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Lars Newball. Come on, Lars, don't strike out. Only two now. Cuts and misses. That's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look at Come on, Mason. You know, that's good Find some grass. Found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Hopped up. Adamas settles under this one. Makes the catch. And that ends the... Runner at first with two away. Here's Nolan Arenado. One for two. Center field on the move. <clears throat> no trouble here. Puts it away for the Come on, boys. And now, no it's nine to four. One That's all right. Three. Won the first two games. What do you expect? Swinging a foul straight back. Six run first. The Brewers leading Unbelievable. by five here in game three of this four game series. Here's a high fly Stop. ball out to center. Settles Missed it. it. Makes the grab for the second out. <coughs> Damn. Our final score here, 9-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shumby. It's the third of an inning. Jesus. That was not good. <laughs> That was not good in the sim. That was terrible. That was terrible. All right, that's a double A player. Whatever. Tanner Bybee and Robert Gasser. Yeah, we're just going to straight sim this one. And we get a 7 to nothing shutout. Edmund and Arenado with home runs. <clears throat> Remember, Bybee's ERA was 12 at one point. Now it's 445, and he's 7 and 0. So we win three out of four after sweeping Tampa Bay and beating Philly two out of three. All right, now we have a three and a half game lead. And we are a half game better than the Dodgers. Game brother. We have the best record in the National League, boys. Wow. Wow. Okay. Rangers have 38 wins. We have the second best record in baseball. Gorman hitting 326. All these guys hitting 300. Edmund is slowly creeping up. Wins kind of bouncing around with Contreras, Newt Barr, Rangifo, JC, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, starting pitching needs to improve. Outside of Zach Thompson, our bullpen's been pretty good. <clears throat> Let me look at this. See what that does. It's not, it's not, uh, 
it's not throwing Matsui enough. <clears throat> Who's on a trade block? We do not need any of these guys. <laughs> All right. And Shohei is still just ahead of Gorman. Bybee. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's third in the Cy Young. <laughs> hey, there's James Wood and Aaron Sabato, two guys with the Nationals fighting for uh, Rookie of the Year. We just faced him. We just had him and traded him away. Okay. I haven't saved in a while, so let me save. All right, so now we have three with Detroit at home. <clears throat> Walker Bueller, Jackson Job. Oh, Riley Green. He's got to be my favorite MLB The Show center fielder because he develops so well and just crushes. I uh, signed him as a free agent with the Rockies in my Rockies franchise, and he just went nuts. <clears throat> in like 330, 35 homers, over 100 RBI. Five to nothing. What the fuck? How? Why is it? Jordan Walker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hard hit to third. Might have to stop player locking because it's killing our pitchers. Strikeout number one. Two outs, runner at first. And now Jordan Walker. Pitch misses. Ball one. Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. I rolled over. <clears throat> That's the inning. Eight to three. Next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> leading by five. You're in game one of this three-game set. Sliced hard but foul. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Up the middle, Peraza. Now the throw to first on the run. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Jordan Walker. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hit this so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Popped up right side. Sizes this one up. Calls it in. And there's one away. Now it's wow. Somehow we have the tying run. We are the tying run. We've battled back in the bottom of the ninth. It is 10-6. There's nobody out. And we are the tying run. And I still have an 18-game hit streak on the line. <clears throat> Misses for ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. With the tying run at the plate, we're in the last half of inning number nine. God damn it. Ball down the right field line. <clears throat> it. 
both runners tagging from second and third. He'll score on the sack fly, making things interesting. It's 10 and this one ends the final 10-8. I don't know why the sim has to kill us in the first inning every time we player lock. I'm just going to fast sim it. And we win 5-1. to one. Gorman with another home run. Painter, 11 Ks. Yay, about time you pitched better. Here's the test. Tink Hints and the Sim. Let's um let's quick manage. Yeah, let's get those. And this is a Sunday, right? All right, here we go. One out. Solo homer. Single. They picked him off. Single. Fly out. Single. Three run homer by N Nolan Gorman. <clears throat> Triple. Sack fly. It's four to one. Herrera comes in, hits a home run in this one day per week that he plays. God damn. Stop. Now pitching for the Tigers. Number 37, Nick Pavetta. Now pitching for the Tigers, number 17, Andrew Chafin. Now pitching for Detroit, number 15, Emilio Pagan. Now, now pitching, pitching for the Cardinals, Cardinals. Three. number 52, Nick Sandler. Now pitching for Detroit, number 55, Alex Lang. Pinch hitting for the Cardinals, number 40, Wilson. Come on, Josh. Oh. <laughs> All right, tying runs at second. Two outs. We're going to enter the game. <clears throat> We're going to bat for with Gorman. Get a chance to tie this game or win it. So first and second with two outs. Here's Nolan Gorman down to their final lap, but an opportunity to deliver the tying and maybe even win. <clears throat> and that one fouled off. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. 
get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run is second. Long drive, that's a base hit. Headed for the play. And he's in safely at third. And this one is tied. A run scores in the play. Huge moment for him and his team, dude. You know, some guy. Now, now they turn to Giovanni Gallego. Yeah, former Cardinal. All right, Jordan. Your chance to win it. Mm. <clears throat> this is a batter who loves to produce late in ball games. He doesn't shy away from the big moment. Two on, two outs. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Nice pitch. Just tried to fight that off. All right. Tied the game up. And we're back. Now here is Zach McKinstry. Sandler back to work. There's the strike. Well, not easy to bounce back mentally after blowing the lead in the bottom of the ninth, but we'll see what this team has on the road in extras. And no, I don't have that uh, stupid runner at second base in extra innings. Fuck that stuff. That's not real baseball. <clears throat> Right-handed reliever. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The wind of the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks Indians. Got him looking. He didn't like the call. Oh man, just locked him up with that slider. Even though it caught a lot of the zone and. I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Green stands in now, looks at that one inside. Just missed. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. One down, base is empty. And fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Got him. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Peraza in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And there's a foul ball. Two out spaces empty. Got him. Struck out the side. Sit down. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Back here in St. Louis. On to the bottom of the tent. Now up for St. Louis. Nolan Arenado. The pitch. That one misses. 1-0. One oh. Mm, jammed. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, Lars. Come on, Mason. Shoot down, nobody on. Out to yeah. short, Peraza. Slings it across. Got to get in pitcher. <clears throat> Back here. In Jojo Romero gets handed the rock out of the pen. 
Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. A one down. And that one fouled off. And ball one. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and one. Just missed. Oh, and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, Filthy chase up right there. Just pulled the string. On the ground out to short. Win. And they get yeah. Torkelson for the out. Well, I believe we talked about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. And a swing and a miss. That misses. Now one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. To the mound, he's got it. Sends it to first, and the Tigers retired. All set for the bottom of the 11th, and now the Cardinals catcher, Wilson Contreras. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. One strike. Here comes the pitch. Up the middle, deep. And Contreras is retired. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip <coughs> on the baseball. And make Come on, Tommy, let's go. And here comes Tommy Edmund. Ah, quit chasing the fucking change-ups. Bases empty one away. We are in the 11th. Come on. The pitch up. <clears throat> yeah, the right hander deals. Wouldn't chase that time. And another ball. Take the walk. There we go. The line moving. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there. A quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get him hurt. That's going to win the game, boys. That's going to win the game. Ha, 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 ha. Woo! And that's a winner. Hit and run, bam! Over the shortstop, right to the wall. Edmonds running on the play. There's no way they're gonna throw him out. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. A one run extra win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by the game of the week. I'm John Chump. I'll talk to you soon. Gorman, four RBI in that game. <laughs> Tink got lit up in his second start in the sim, so. Got to figure out the sim. <clears throat> Both those young guys, we can pitch really well when we play, but the sim is killing us. Did I not do my scouting? Um, so we're going to go. Outfield International. The 
this guy? I'm not getting Bruno. These guys aren't going to be around long enough for us to pick them. Eh, probably not. We might come back to Velasco. This could be in play for round two, but we've already got the second baseman. <clears throat> Juan Guillen. Yeah, let's take a look at Juan Guillen. All right, so we got two more weeks to scout central pitchers, and now we're going to start discovering hitters. <clears throat> <clears throat> So now we have a five and a half game lead. Remember, right around here, we were a half game back, and now we're five games up. All right, so next time we stream, it'll be some night this week. Um, Leaning towards playing one of these games in San Diego. Um, and one of these games at Seattle or at Arizona. We are not playing at Minnesota because the backdrop is ass. So that means we'd have to either play the Braves or the Red Sox. So if we play the Braves, we'll have all three games on the road. So we'll have two full games and a player lock game. And then... This, for the pitcher and then some other player locks thrown in. All right. 38 and 22. We're ranked second in all of baseball. Nolan Gorman hitting 326 with 19 and 51. Jordan has 50 RBI. Naylor's got 15 home runs. Bueller's 6 and 2. Valdez had a horrible start. Bybee's 7 0 after a hor horrible start. Painter's had a rough one. Tink, great first game, shitty second game. This is why I want Matt Sui to get in more games. <laughs> so, big leaders Corbin Carroll, 357. Dylan Carlson for the Guardians in 339, really? Twenty six doubles already. Pete Crow with twenty two. Twenty seven by Gunner. Seven triples for Carolyn Chirillo. Seven for Camonero. Corey Seeger, twenty home runs already. Shohei Otani, twenty one home runs. Fifty nine RBIs. We got two guys with fifty. Johan Rojas, 16 steals. De La Cruz, 15. Nolan Jones with 14. Okay. CJ Abrams now playing with the Angels with 22. OPS. Look at that OPS. Nineteen saves for Abreu, twenty-one for Zach Jackson, sixty-three clutch. It's terrible. One ninety-one ERA, two for Iriarte. <clears throat> three shutouts for Alcantara, three for Bryce Miller.
All right, let's save this, and we're going to call this a day, boys and girls. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me tonight. As I said when we started, we'll be doing these late-night streams much more often going forward. Start around 9 p.m. Central, so watch your notifications. Um, I also do my notification on Discord right before I go live, so you can go there and follow, and you'll get the Discord notification too. So, anyway it for the day who is out here i don't have anybody oh big baby henny we're gonna go raid big baby henny because i haven't seen big baby in forever so he's a boston fan so let's go raid big baby henny he's playing ranked with shano 91 he's playing all night until his flight in the morning so <clears throat> All right, well, get that raid going, and when you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. Thank you guys again. Appreciate you. I'll be back. Won't be tomorrow night, but sometime Tuesday, Wednesday night, we'll do another stream, get through June, get close to the draft. So, um, anyway, you guys, appreciate you. Thank you very much. And uh, We'll head on over to see Big Baby Henny, and you guys have a good start to the week. Mm -hmm.